All right, everypony, this is Nate Z testing my phone with an impromptu video blog about an off topic an off topic subject, and I'm just gonna straight download this up or upload this to YouTube when I'm done. I'm not gonna edit it like I normally do, which again I think will help. See episode zero for what I mean. Uh but yeah, something that I wanna start before I go on is Something I want to start with before I go on is that I am actually a very huge Supergirl fan. I ha and I have been since I was like really little, since I saw the original Helen Slater movie back when I was like six, maybe seven years old. It's just always stuck with me, and I've always enjoyed the character in all her various incarnations. I mean, I'm, I'm not too picky. That said, when the TV show was announced, I was super excited. And I have been eagerly awaiting its premiere in October. Now, some people may have heard that the pilot has leaked online. And let's just say, hypothetically, maybe I was able to get a chance to see it. And that hypothetically, it's pretty good. I theoretically enjoyed it very much. Um, it's probably not going to be anything too original, not anything we haven't seen before, some really cliched moments, but I don't, if this is the case, I don't think this will hurt it too much. Mainly because, and I feel horrible, I can never remember the actress's name, but the actress they cast as Supergirl. You know, there's no hypothetical here, because I could tell this just from the commercials and the previews and everything. She is wonderful. And I have a feeling she's even more wonderful than I initially thought, because it just, you know, all the Kara scenes, she's awk super awkward. It, all the costume scenes, she's super confident. I mean... The rest of the cast could literally be wooden, and I would still love the show just for her. She's wonderful. Love her to bits in the role. That said, it looks like the other cast is really good, too, you know, from the commercials. And I'm going to get, a little again, a little nostalgic in that Calissa Flockhart is Cat Grant is really exciting for me because I was a huge Ally McBeal fan. And in retrospect, when it was on, I was probably too young to watch it because I didn't understand a lot of stuff. Or maybe, it, either way, I enjoyed that show. I love Callista Flockhart, so it's good to see her again. And I am eagerly awaiting all the memes about how Cat Grant dated Tony Stark. That's going to be a lot of fun when those start showing up. Um... Two things that bug me, and these are clearly visible in the various trailers and everything. Um, one, they introduce a new character who's awkward and shy and nerdy, and they introduce Jimmy Olsen, James Olsen. And he's smooth and confident and charismatic and very handsome. Honestly, I just... They didn't have to change much. They should have just switched those two around. Uh, the confident, charismatic, handsome guy should have been the friend from the magazine who, oh, that's why you're not into me. Because just that, that line would make a lot more sense. Again, that's in the commercials. I'm not spoiling anything there. And again, you know, this is the comic book nerd in me. But Jimmy Neil Olsen is always going to be the awkward, nerdy, shy type. And the other guy fits that perfectly. And... Again, you know, the, the actors are great. The characters are great. I, I really enjoyed it. So I'm not complaining. That, that I really admit is a nitpick on my part. But still, it bugs me. The other thing is Cat Grant's speech about what's wrong with being a girl. Again, I, I, I'm going to try not to get too social justice warrior here. But this does irritate me a bit. Because every other incarnation of the character of Supergirl has 
more or less been called Supergirl because she's still a teenager. So the name makes sense. In this show, she's 24. She's starting her career. Yeah, she should be Superwoman. Okay, getting that out of the way. Now, the writers are very, are very aware of this complaint because Cat Grant goes on hold this speech about what girl, there's nothing wrong with being a girl because she's a girl and she's rich and strong and powerful. Yeah, it's not a bad speech, but the thing is, I'm sorry, Cat Grant, you're not a girl. You are a woman. So that really doesn't hold up and just comes off as really contrived. And it's especially irritating to me because, you know, I'm again, I'm sure this actress is in her 20s, but she still looks young enough that she could be a teenager. So really, they didn't have to make that change, and she could still be Supergirl and everybody would be happy. As for why she's in a magazine, you know, I was in um, high school. When I was in high school, I was in an internship, and I was... Granted, I ended up doing mine at the Red Cross, so it's not the same thing. But stuff like that exists, especially if you're, like, a super smart kid. They will send you to places places to start working. I mean, that was a plot point in Amazing Spider-Man 2. Both the first Amazing Spider-Man. And to the best of my knowledge, no one questioned that. I mean, I didn't. If I had applied myself more in high school, because, you know, I did get good grades and whatnot, I may have been one of those interns. You know, obviously not science i can tell you that right now chemistry almost held me back but yeah so it's just one of those things where they shot themselves on the foot with the changes they made there and again it it does get pretty cliched and there there are a couple say oh you think you can beat me because i'm just a girl and you know you know theoretically those are in there you know Again, I don't think that necessarily makes the show bad, or it won't make the show bad if that's the case. Because, you know, first of all, no show, well, very few shows, I mean, this is actually something I've heard a lot and it makes a lot of sense, is that no, very few shows have a outstanding series premiere because you have to count a lot to the series premiere so it's going to need a lot of time to grow and the guy one of the producers is the same guy who produces flash and flash you know flash started out really really well not really flash started out good and it just got incrementally better it and get to the point where the season finale, I was literally stunned silence for several minutes. I just stared at the screen like this. So I have every confidence that this guy is going to bring his A game and he is going to do great things with the show. In fact, in terms of TV, at this point, I don't think DC can do any wrong. Actually, I don't think Marvel can do wrong with their movies. Because Constantine was good, Flash is amazing, and hypothetically, I think this show had a really will have a really strong start. Again, if no other reason than the actress they got in the lead role, love her to bits. So, yeah, I have high hopes for this show. I don't think those hopes are going to be dashed anytime soon. And we'll see where we go from here. Anyway, this is Nate Z, and thanks for watching.